What's up, nerdlings? Sup, nerdlings? Do you nerd for toys like... That's the question. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? Do you nerd? If we like it, we nerd it. Well, if that terrible singing didn't scare you away, and if we have not been pulled from YouTube for even trying to do the music. That didn't sound enough like anything for them to really flag us. <laughs> it's time to take a look at some uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World figures, the Amber Collection. The Amber it Collection, yes. Here's why I'm gonna win Brett's heart. I can do the worm, I've served jail time, I got mad skin tags, and I'm rocking one leg, bro. Now, for starters, you're quite the fan of most of the movies, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Even two and three had their charms. Not a lot of it, but a little bit of it. Like, two had Mr. Bloom, Goldblum. So, that's why I like the second movie. And then the third movie was funny because a guy had a raptor head with a hat on. Alan. Uh, Alan. And in all honesty, the uh, the first Jurassic World, they did really they did. well with that. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one... The second one, again, had Owen, so I really liked it. I did not... I really, really didn't like when they were leaving all the dinosaurs on the island and the volcano was erupting. I mean, I almost walked out of the theater for that. She that was so sad. <laughs> and I will say I went from one childhood crush to an adulthood crush. So I really enjoy the Jurassic movies. Oh. <laughs> I would let Jeff Goldblum <laughs> redacted my redacted. You have to fill in your own redact redactions. I would love, God, but I'm, I'm thinking of something. I would love Jeff Goldblum. Wow, jeez. Born free, free as the dinos. And look at that. They have stands. They do. They come with their own little piece of amber. I like when toys come with stands because then you don't have to track some stands down mm -hmm. and it makes it that much easier to display them. Look, he's like a blizzard. By the way, don't pull the spoon like this. It might fall over. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> We've got Mr. Jeff Goldblum himself here, and he has all of his lovely glory that he had in the movie. He has his iconic sunglasses slash glasses that he wore. <laughs> he has the very, very typical articulation everywhere that you would expect, and he comes with multiple hands because he's got one hand here that will hold the uh, flare so that he could scare the dinosaur away. And he also comes with two extra hands so that you can change it out so he doesn't have to be holding the flare, it's just a normal hand. And then this hand over here, you can change out. And so that hand will hold the water glass if you want him to, cause he's thirsty a lot. <laughs> oh, look at the tiny hairs in your hands. Imperfections, imperfections. Oh. Not nothing, not that way. <laughs> now, do his glasses come off or are those? They um, are permanent on his face. Okay. But that was, you know, his character wore glasses. So you know, he can do the matrix just like, just like everybody else who wears black. Wow, JP, that is a great outfit. How much do clothes cost in the matrix? <laughs> he's got a lot of really good detail. I mean, you know, he's got his I don't know that whether blue jeans, his black jeans, but his even down to his biker. Uh, oh, nice! His that biker boots and everything on there, and it looks just like Mr. Blue, Goldblum. <laughs> well, Owen Grady here. Um, so it looks like we've got the Peter Bateman action figure. <laughs> True story. We met Peter because we thought he looked like. You know, 
Star Lord, which and is actually what we called him for a long time. When we were out game hunting once with him, some kids came up to him and asked if he knew that he looked exactly like Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was exciting! <laughs> but they did do a really good job on the face mold here. I mean, Chris Pratt does have a very distinct face. And a very good they, looking they, distinct they, face. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and the detail of him is really well done too. Of course he's got his vest on and it's that very malleable plastic. If you put some effort into it, I don't know why you would want to, but I think you could actually take that vest off. It looks like it would, you know, mm, be a little tough, so you may yeah. just want to leave it on. Just leave his clothes on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got his rugged blue jeans. And if you look really close, they're kind of splattered with like some grease and grime and everything. And he's got his watch on, which a nice touch. It is twisted around so that the face of the watch is on the underside of his arm. So again, really looking after that detail. So you've got all the twists that you would expect, all the bendy parts that you would expect. That way you can put him in all kinds of great poses. He does come with a couple of hands to change out. The ones that he has now can hold his knife. Now, speaking of the knife, it's very cool that it does sheath itself on his back. I always did like the way he wore his knife sheath. It does seem like a more natural way of holding a knife sheath in the way most typically when you're watching a movie or a TV show, or even when you go on your own hikes and your knife belt is usually straight up and down, you know, you kind of pull it out like that, but I, I feel like for quick access, if you need to, you know, to defend yourself, I really like the placement of his, his nice sheath. These are some really cool looking figures. Uh huh. And I really do enjoy the movies. So I was really excited to be able to have some piece of the movie here and, you know, having a little tiny gold bloom from my childhood's crush is also really nice. And then to have a, new crush because I get to have him as Star-Lord or Owen Grady. Well, I guess I'm putting these figures on the high shelf so she can't get a hold of them. That's not fair. Well, nerdlings, please give the video a like if you happen to like it. I don't think you're going to like it as much as she's liking these figures though. But leave some comments down below on what you think of either of the figures or if you checked out anything from the Amber Collection before or any other Jurassic Park toys. Maybe you're a fan of the original line, which were pretty cool because, I mean, come on, dinosaurs. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and, uh, you know, watch your water. Make sure it's not Boom. shaking too much. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. And I do like it a lot. <laughs> Bingo! Dino DNA! Whoa, I'm the Matrix! <laughs>